numbers, right? Doing that allows us to increase the number of people who have tax identification numbers from about 3 million to 15 million just in one, one, one day that we will do from April 1st. We are doing the same with SNIT, uh, and we expect um, by June this year, all Ghana with bank accounts will integrate with SIM cards, births and deaths, and so on. And that is the only way we will have a very database society uh, which we will benefit from as a society. So it's an, an exciting future uh, ahead with the help of digitization. The Statistical Service will this year conduct its first digital population and housing census in line with this digitization agenda and focusing on the five areas that will uniquely provide for our current transformation agenda. This is a historic moment. We are going to have a digital population and housing census. I'm highly impressed that the GSS has incorporated the ICT model in the census to ascertain the level of digital application and access in the country. Indeed, the census will provide comprehensive data on ICT access and usage in the country to enhance development in the sector. We are interested in the penetration in the rural areas, internet usage, ownership of ICT devices, usage of mobile phones for financial transactions, and how ICT may be changing lives and affecting livelihoods. Ladies and gentlemen, the use of tablets for data capture will greatly improve data quality and reduce data processing time. Another is the expansion of the questionnaire to collect detailed information on the use of ICT, including internet usage, ownership of ICT devices, and so on. One of the major aspects of the population and housing census, as it said, is the housing data. And I know that it is one of the points of interest of our new minister for works on housing, Francis Azenzubuachi, MP for Bantam. And that is partly why he's here, to make sure that housing and <laughs> data is, is proper, properly captured. Housing conditions and living arrangements among various population subgroups serve as indicators of socioeconomic status and well-being. Inclusion of housing conditions module in the 2021 population and housing census makes it possible to provide data to access the adequacy of housing stock and to determine the nature of the housing deficit in the country where we are falling short and those most in need. The housing conditions module will provide data to assess the quality of housing, availability of utilities in the dwelling units, as well as to determine housing tenure arrangements. The module will also capture a uh, better cap capture the sanitation conditions in our communities. Ladies and gentlemen, the Population and Housing Census of 2021 will also see us implement for the first time data linkage technology that is intended to harmonize and improve statistics in the sub-region. The implementation of the Harmonizing and Improving Statistics in West Africa project is intended to ensure efficient data production through cooperation and partnership with it is worth noting that the National Development Planning Commission and the United Nations have made poverty reduction the prime goal and target in line with goal one of the Sustainable Development Goals that calls for no poverty, with an emphasis on ending poverty in all forms and everywhere. Member countries, including Ghana, have pledged to leave no one behind. And the underlying challenge is to identify the poor, 
in Ghana and where they live. Ladies and gentlemen, I am encouraged by the effort of the Ghana Statistical Service, the effort that they are making to use geospatial data breakdown of poor households in the country. This provision makes for, for better targeting of poverty alleviation measures. It would enable government to develop effective and efficient pro-poor policies, programs, projects, and agenda. The geospatial data from the census will enable the GSS and other stakeholders develop multi-dimensional poverty index and human development index. And for the first time, we are going to also identify the properties and households where this census is uh, being undertaken with their Ghana Post digital addresses. Ladies and gentlemen, the present efforts of government is captured in the fact that with a budget of 521 million Ghana cities, government has already mobilized and disbursed 449.7 million Ghana cities for the conduct of the 2021 population and housing census. I think there is a shock uh, on, you know, PPEs, the training, and so on. So I'm sure that will be made up for. But government is very committed to fully uh, resource the GSS in the conduct of the census. Ladies and gentlemen, our progress so far in the preparatory activities of the census has benefited from the assistance of our development partners. We wish to thank and express our profound gratitude to the World Bank for their support, the UNFPA, for demonstrating commitment as the lead development partner agency responsible for the conduct of the census. We recognize the technical assistance of an international chief technical officer for the 2021 population and housing census. We also acknowledge the support from the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa and the Office of the National Statistics United Nations. My engagement with the government statistician suggests that because of the disaggregation of the data for all 260 districts, soon to be 261, we will have more than 2.6 million indicators derived from the 2021 population and housing census. Just think about it. 2.6 million indicators as they are divided by locality, by you know, district, region, and all of that. Uh, very, very rich micro data that, that we can get to guide our development plans, implementation, monitoring, evaluation, and reporting. Ladies and gentlemen, we are confident that the Ghana Statistical Service, working with other census implementation partners, will deliver a successful census. I am informed that key preparatory activities necessary for the exercise have been completed. These include the mapping of the entire country and demarcation of 51,911 enumeration areas, recruitment of trainers and district data quality management teams, and procurement of logistics. Other key activities, such as the training of trainers, recruitment of enumerators, and preparation of tablets for data collection are ongoing and will be completed within the next 60 days. We, however, want to put on um, record that this data that is being put together, as with all censuses, is going to be the most comprehensive data set that we have in Ghana. It's the most comprehensive and, and the richest 
data set that we, we will have as, 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 as a country in one place. And as we, I said before, data today is, as some people will say, more valuable than oil. And it is important that once this data is put together, once the exercise is over, that we put it in a format that can be easily accessible by the public it's, and the researchers. It's not just good enough to do the census and keep most of the data internally for use uh, by the statistical service. No. We want to make sure that the data is accessible. And researchers and other members of the public are actually very willing to pay for this data. There's no reason why uh, the data cannot, be, cannot generate a lot of uh, funds for the Ghana Statistical Service. You'll be sitting on a gold mine. Uh, if I go to Canada, for example, and I'm trying to get the demographics, the demographics of the people living where I am living, they can give it to me. Uh, they will, gi they will give, have my street address and I'll pay a fee and they'll give me that data. And researchers across the world will use this data. And if this data is also easily accessible, you will see a lot of research being done on Ghana, in Ghana, and across the world as well. So um, recognize the value of this data, make it accessible, format it in a way that it can be very accessible uh, to uh, the people of Ghana and to researchers uh, the world over. Uh, it's very, very important that we do so. The Ghana Statistical Service, in consultation with the Office of the President, has endorsed the census night date of Sunday, 27th of June, and approved by the National Census Steering Committee. So Sunday, 27th of June, will be the date, the census night date. This all important date will be the reference for all information to be collected on the population during the census and will mark the beginning of the enumeration phase of the census exercise. You are here today because the census outcome matters to you. We are asking for your support in the lead up to the census night. Within the next 100 days, GSS will spearhead a nationwide publicity, education, and advocacy campaign aimed to mobilize resources, sensitize stakeholders, develop strategic partnerships, and build public trust for the census. The census is a priority development activity and requires mobilization of state resources, utilization of existing state infrastructure. As such, the President is committed to ensuring that the Ghana Statistical Service receives the required support from all ministries, departments, and agencies, and from all metropolitan, municipal, and district assemblies. We thank you in advance for your support, and we look forward to working with you to conduct a successful 2021 population and housing census. As they say, you count, so get counted. On this note, it is my honor and privilege. There's a book that I'm going to launch, Professor Samuel Inimde, government statistician, will, will, will bring it, which is 100 days to census night. Uh, and this has been nightly. <laughs> so, Consider it duly launched. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, for that wonderful delivery. Thank you very much for your endurance and resilience. Can you show some more appreciation, please, for? So we invite. Please, we invite Dr. Mohamed Mazik Abuakar. to grant us the strength to one day celebrate the success of the project. In the name of Almighty Allah, we say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Amanna Billah, Wa'atasamna Billah, Wa Tawakkalna Ala Allah, Wa La Hawla Wa La Quwata Illa Billah, Wa Salatu Wa Salamu Ala Rasulullah, Wa Akhiru Da'wana An Alhamdulillah. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين. Thank you Doc for the closing prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, we we take the national anthem and then we we have some photographs and advice. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for gracing this occasion and also delivering the keynote address. Uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Ghana Statistical Service is extremely grateful for responding to this call uh, so we can continue to fashion out a program that will be necessary for the development of this nation. The 2021 Population and Housing Census is a very critical one. Let us all support the process. Thank you very much for coming. So the Vice President will, will be sent and take some photographs, um, at least uh, evidence-based, you know, photographs. Evidence-based, yes. Thank you very much. So high table, members of the high table, Professor Say, Dr. Bedi Akon, and then uh, those who delivered the solidarity messages, can you please join? And then um, the census officers, and then that's it.